Welcome to Brother Owl's Garden. I'm Brian and I honor your presence here today. There's a Zen proverb that's kind of stuck in my head today, very prominent, that I'll share with you now. And it says, when you reach the mountaintop, keep climbing. And at first impression, that may not make any sense. But when you understand the meaning that's behind it, it makes incredibly wise sense. What it's implying is that we're never done. There is no actual finish to this soul work that we're doing, this, this earth work that we're here always performing and engaged in. We are, in fact, eternal beginners. Thomas Merton pointed it out as well. He said, we, I'm paraphrasing, he, he said, we, we may not like it, but the sooner we accept it, the better. The fact of the matter is, we will be beginners for our entire lives. And the reason for that is because, well, first of all, there is no done. There is no finished. There is no graduation ceremony and all is done. This includes after we transition on beyond our bodies. You know, after we die from this world and, this, and these bodies. We're not done. I, I, I'm, you know, I'm speculative that um, at some point immeasurably beyond the horizon, there may be a point where we actually do somehow merge back into the Godhead. You know, we, we, we dissolve into divinity. But until that, and I don't know when, I don't know how long that takes, but um, until we can achieve that, and attain to that level of being. We are effectively eternal beginners. And this should actually give us, um, there's three gifts. There's three gifts that come with the realization that we are eternal beginners. I might even think of four. But the three gifts are, first of all, that is a relief. Instead of feeling, oh, I'll never be done. There's never going to be a finish point to this. No. Instead, let go of that whole idea that, you know, I've just got to get done. I've just got to reach this stopping point. You know, I've just got to get on top of this thing. And then everything's going to be fine. And I'll be, I'll be at the level I want to be at in my spirituality and etc. No. Let go of that whole premise. It's pointless. Actually, it's futile and counterproductive, if anything. So free yourself from the burden of that yoke. Set down that mantle. It only comes with a lack of understanding to, to have that kind of a, of a mindset in the first place. So let, let it go. Lighten your load. Understand that you're never done. The second thing is, the second gift that that realization offers us, offers us is a sense of viewing ourselves from a much more humble perspective. It gives a proper context to our own personal soul journeys juxtaposed in comparison to everybody else. Comparisons are pretty much always odious. But um, what I mean to say is rather than, of course, if you achieve something great in your life, you know, you, you come out of some dark night of the soul and you can, you can tangibly, measurably feel that you've made spiritual progress as a result, rather than taking a stance of, hey, check me out. I'm at next level. You know, that, that spiritual vanity is, is repugnant. It's repulsive. Rather than taking that stance, take the stance of one more feather in my cap and infinity to go. And in, in respect to comparing yourself to others, suddenly you don't have any desire for comparison. Because as I've mentioned in another episode, we all enter the, the life stream from a different point. 
we, we enter at a different point from a different background at a different pace and a different cadence you know we you know it's come as you are we didn't all start at the same time and it's not a contest and it's not a race so suddenly any any impulse to be judgmental or critical or condescending towards someone who may be some steps behind where you happen to be now is just there's no desire for that anymore there's no there's no place for that anymore that just doesn't come up and as the buddha said um when Whenever you're observing somebody, I'm paraphrasing, whenever you're observing somebody who is exhibiting behavior of a low consciousness, people are doing some real dumb, unevolved, unawakened stuff, and it's everywhere. There's no shortage of it. Don't be quick to judge them because every single thing that's triggering you that, that you see them doing wrong, you also did at some point in your in your spiritual evolution may not be this lifetime might have been the last one might have been 16 before this but you were doing it too it's like looking at a little baby who poops his diapers and saying oh that's disgusting look at that how does that kid tolerate doing that why would the kid you know poop in his own diapers and it's where he's at in his particular point of his never ending eternal journey of soul and when you were that little kid you pooped your diapers too <laughs> so you know it's not to say pretend you don't see those things it's to say don't take a judgment a judgmental or condescending or critical stance toward them uh, that 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 goes right up together with what uh, Yeshua taught who has not sinned may cast the first stone Whichever of you is blameless and flawless and perfect can be the first one to cast judgment and condemnation and punishment on others, which is none of us. Because we're all eternal beginners. The next gift that the realization that we are all eternal beginners gives to us is that it helps us to have the nature and disposition of a child when you realize that you are not ever going to reach the end you are not ever gonna get on top of it all you are never going to be the master of the spiritual universe and all that it's what a what a burden to even carry any thought like that all of that falls off of you and what is left is a pure humble, perfectly imperfect, divine being who is in an unending process of purification, realization, ascension, and transcendence. Your soul work is pretty much never going to be done. And your earth work, if you're extremely efficient and fortunate might get done it's it's noble and worthy to continuously work at it whatever is your sacred offering on this planet but it doesn't mean that your journey and your growth and your education of the soul will ever be done it won't because we are all eternal beginners so the next time you reach that mountaintop, keep climbing. Thanks for stopping by Brother Owl's Garden today. I hope this has been a good episode for you and a helpful one. And always remember to abide in thankfulness for your highest good in the most benevolent outcome of the divine will. <laughs>